I really do like the Kikwit vibe better than Kinshasa. Zambi kile na kati na beto na bayindo. Simu kimbangu kile Zambi na libota ya bayindo. What's up guys? Welcome and welcome back. If you are new here, hi, my name is Felicity. Welcome to Congo Talks. And for those of you families that have already been here, welcome back Lendeko. I am so glad you are still here. So, in the same tone, most of the people that actually watch these videos are not subscribed. So, I will start reminding you guys. Please subscribe and uh, be part of the family. So, let me tell you a background story here. I did a story about Prophet Simo Kimbangu. Great man. Great, great man. And I loved learning about him and sharing my knowledge with you guys. If you haven't seen it i suggest that you go view it after this video jump on it and have a look ever since i did that video i i could not get the kimbangu's church outside of my mind i was fascinated with the story of prophet simo kimbangu and I, I told myself when i was going to congo i was like i cannot leave congo without attending a kimbangu's church and so i was like what better way to learn about prophet simo kimbangu than to go somewhere where people speak kikongo i was like kikwit i am going on a road trip to kikwit i said why not because i have family there it will give me a chance to see my family some of my family members i have have not seen them in like almost 12 years and so i said i need to go to kikwit i'm going to see my family and i'm also going to learn about prophet simo kimbangu from people that follow his teaching we call them the kimbangurists so i reached out to my family in kikwit i was like i need help can you guys come along they really helped me with that another thing that also made it really really interesting for me is the fact that i have never traveled from kinshasa to kikwit and back by road if i have ever done this trip by road it was could be maybe when i was like a baby but i cannot recall any time that i I knew I was traveling from Kinshasa to Kikwit by road. So this made the trip all the more interesting for me. My journey from Kinshasa to Kikwit is another story on its own and I intend to tell you guys about it. The trip itself was supposed to take around 10 hours more or less. It took more than that. Way more than that. It was one of the most tiring things that I've ever done. But I was happy it was worth it and I embarked on this trip and I went to Kikwit. Honorable <laughs> Kimbata me buana masa bonde Lucia Mando gets good Mete bulo na mbila diot Mbote na tata mounoun Bise kop Arma buka la voie d'Afrique Metu bande ki kuti ke le bois la fe Na kima Christi Guys so I have arrived in Kikwit I just ate a mango <laughs> see that i didn't film a lot because this trip was the most tiring thing that i have gone through here in congo and i was trying to sleep i couldn't really sleep i was squashed if you look at my feet right now they're swollen the bus was overbooked it was such a hard trip i feel a bit better now because i came home and then i ate a mango i really do like the kikwit vibe better than kinshasa <laughs> i really really like kikwit it's calmer greener it's less chaotic hopefully while i'm here in kikwit i will show you guys around anyway so the plan today is i'm gonna freshen up after eating then i'm going to go to church i want to go to the kimbangu's church here in kikwit to see how they worship and if i can get some people to speak to me about their faith and what do you think about prophet simon kimbangu it will be really really awesome so hopefully i get some interviews but i'll take you guys with me so you'll see the whole process anyway Coming here was always so that I can learn something, something more about my country. I put this hat because the Kimbangu's churches tie their heads. I think women have to tie their heads. I didn't have any scarf, so I just thought that I should just put a hat on. Now we're going to catch a motorcycle and then we will head there and hopefully they allow me to film so that I can tell this story. This is the road to the church. So we came until here, but it looks like they're not praying today. So we'll probably uh, have a look and ask some people. Basically they have um, both a church and a school. And I think when you see there, you see the picture of, of Papa Simon Kimbangu. That is a famous picture of him that he took when he was in prison. 
So hopefully we can find someone that would give us some clue because the ladies that we found don't seem to be willing because they're also here they're new they're coming from kinshasa so hopefully we can ask their pastor okay guys so far this journey has been unsuccessful because the goal was for me to attend the church it turns out the church is not being held here today and then we're trying we've been trying to get some people to speak about prophet simon Kim, uh, simon kimbangu but they have not been willing there are two other people that we've seen so we're going to see them and see if they're willing to speak to us about him if not then we just go one eternity later mulenda buya vena kutula zina na munu munu hawa ngeme kisa ukuta munu hawa nakati alupangu zina na munu badi kiyanze ye abandela ki musala na ye Ba pesa kiye pasi na ba belge belge pesa ka andi pasi tango ko banda na musala na ye ya banda na mpeve ya banda mu kristu ya mishoni muli mome kwisila andi yo ina ame banda kisalu na ko banda kisalu na yandi ame vutuka diaka na ba mission ake tu bande bampange mme kisa kulomba beno mutindu beno mebu ya munu pesa munu mkanda ya bankunga bampange na yandi mbo mebu ya ndeve kwenda nge basisa bankunga na nge Yandi metu banda merci mingi me futula merci samu na ben metu ba amefutuka mutindu batu ke banda na kati ya gimbangu betu na mukanda ve me bankunga kuluta mingi ya ina kwenda kulomba na bampange na yandi ya ba missionnaire bankunga na betu ke bashika kaka na mulimu betu ina batu ke bashisaka bankunga boe kota na ba sacrifice nkunga ke na kubachika boke na kuimba na ba angelo ba angelo ke pesa ba bankunga nyonso Bubu yai kana dingumba ya mebachika pa mindele kuzola ka vende betu vanda bantu ya kusambila na eglizi kimbangiste. Kwa msimo kimbangu tubaka nde. Mutu ndombe tabaluka mundele, mundele tabaluka, mutu ndombe pana. Simo kimbangu watu baka pidina ba mindele kumonaka makasi. Yo hii na bo simba kayandi, bo pesa kayandi, mpasi. Kana ngaye mwona ba foto na yandi, bo baka ngandi na ba miyololo, kutula na masa, na mafuta, bima mutini na mutini. Bo kangaka stata simo kimbangu, bo mekuenda ti yandi na lubumbashi, ame fila na lubumbashi, na lubumbashi kuna mefwa. Kufa na yandi ntete vya yulaka ba mpangi ba mindele nde, bino begena guzabila ntoto, mtu kilumbu ya kufa yotavanda nki mutindu. Bino geza ba lufa ya mtu, bo yotu bande ve, kufa ya mtu uge vandaka ngindu mayele ya nzambi, ke vandaka na ngindu ya beto ya nsi ntoto ve, yandi metu bande muge songa beno, lufa na munu, na 1950 ye, na ngonda ya kumi, na bilumbu, kumi na zole, na kitanu, na kenzer mutafwa, yo ina, Ntangu ina kukumaka na ngo na mvula ina na 1950 ye na 10 ye mwa ne duzu Simo kimbangu na kenze ye mwa na kitanu amefwa Tangu bome sara ndi operasyon Na di bumu na andi uvanda ataki mamoshi ve Bondi maka penza bome bingana bon nyonto bome vugana isi ah. Mutu ya hiki mutindu, aso mbaka betu pila, betu nisa nandi opila, tunakati ya lubungu watagi mamoche vya. Yuna bantu mingi boe, boe zabaa kwa ma, inki ba kimbangu iske, ke zabaa na papa kimbangu vya. Anto wankage tuba inde, ah, ba kimbangu, boe bandaka hapa na sambu, bo luwe papa kimbangu, bo samba na papa kimbangu. Sambu na benu, papa kimbangu ke, ke bonso, yesu na benu, bia ya ke bonso, ke mpewe santu, bia ke nzambi na benu, bia ke nani. Voilà, papa Simo Kimbangu. Kanabetu me landa bie ba pangi na betu bome tubande. Nzambi tata, nzambi mwana, nzambi peve sa, santu. Awa me bome kisa kubalila dia ka ve. Mpeve santu kele muntu ve. Ikele mpeve ya betu ketu bila. Yenji papa Simo Kimbangu. Na betu bagimbangisa betu tubande. Nzambi ya nsuka ikele. Yenji tata Simo Kimbangu. Molimo mu santu. Na betu betu meza bande. Na libota ya bayindu mutume ketu kisa ukatura betu na kimpika. Kese Simo Kimbangu. Mbangu, yandi ina mulimo msanto, yandi ina nzambi ya suka. Nzambi ya zole kufana, Yesu Christo. Yesu Christo, nzambi tata, nzambi ya mwana, nzambi peve santo, yandi ya ime kuisa kuchukisa. Mena bampangi na betu boge ndi mawe. Yo ina kanangaye mwana dibu ndi ya ime kuma ntoto nyonsu ya mbimba. Kwa msimo ki mbangu tubaka nde, naba mindele, naba batu ndombe, bota sambila nzo nzambi, mosi na ntuala ya betu kena ukwe. Atanga mesambila na kimbangu ventangu ina mulimo takumuka na kati na beto. Beta vanda kiteso moshi na beto mpi. Beto kena kimbangu. Na bubu ya beto kena kutuba na ntuala beto ya kuenda. Ntoto ke baloka. Beto kena 
Enkare ya ba mindele wawe sala bitu ke hituka mutindu ngeme kwisa tibi mayai. Ya ba mindele. Enkare na bo. Menange mwindu inki, inki nge salaka. Mpangi nange ya mesala kima. Ha, kima mochi ya imbi. Nge mwona kima mdele mutindu ngeme kwisa tibi yai. Nge tuba nge o oh, mundele meluta. Me mundele meluta. Ve. Nzambi kile na kati na betu na bayindu. Me satana ke nwanisa kaka nge jisalu ina kumonana ve. Yo ina mama kana ngeme kwisa na guyula makamba pasi moki mbangu. Na beto bantu mwindu, ibu ndu na beto ya bayindu, ikele ibu ndu ya kimbangu. Ibu ndu ya kimbangu, beto kwe sambila kaka nzambi penza na ngindu mocha kitoko. Mekana mandu, gumbi mekota na kati na beto, sadi bantu ina boe kota samu na kutala inki mutindu bato we na ukota, boe na kusambila. Sino mungi na mingi dhe ya utuba, nyonto wa mubanda, yange melombila, yoi na mepesa nge, na zina tata mwana. Et à ta molle, mon santo. Ok, merci, merci, papa.